Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video and in today's video I'm gonna give you guys some solo tips and tricks and specifically how to win in solo versus duos I have some really good tips and tricks and when it comes to solo versus duos and just how to win more gunfights and get more kills So I have a lot of really good tips in this video. Hope you guys stick around to the very end and before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. If you guys want a chance to win some free V-Bucks, all you need to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on my notifications, and leave a comment down below of your Xbox Gamer Tag, PSN Gamer Tag, or Epic account. In this role, make sure you guys have me supported as a creator on the item shop. All you need to do to do this is go to the item shop, hit X, type in Young Humor. That's all you have to do, and you will have me added and supported as a creator. And alright guys, let's go right to the video. Alright, so I'm going to be commentating over my gameplay for this video. And it's just one of those games where my teammate lagged out. So I had to play this game solo versus duos. And I played pretty well. I think I believe had about 16 kills. And honestly, this is one of those games that's just once in a blue moon where I actually came out of Trump. Or came out of the starting location that I land at and tilted with full shield. Like I came out full shield, two big pots, and two slurps. And I only went to the first building. I didn't go anywhere else. So I just, it's just one of those games where I just happen to have full shield for pretty much the entirety of the game. I really, I really didn't have any problems at all when it came to shield. And honestly, that's a first. It never happens. But since it did happen, which is really, really lucky, it did play a huge factor in just being able to clutch out this game. And the one thing that took me a little bit to find that I really didn't luck out on there was a shotgun. I just had a blue AR and a blue SMG. And when it comes to not having a shotgun, you know, every game's different. And that's one thing I've noticed. I just have a hard time finding shotguns. You have to play it very differently and here I also ran out of mats so I still had a lot of HP but I didn't have a shotgun and I only had a blue AR and a blue SMG so I got the knock right there and I heard his teammate come around otherwise I would have finished him immediately and I would have gotten a shotgun but I knew the O2 was going to push up so I decided to play it smart even though I knocked the other player I wasn't going to go in for his teammate because if I would have went back for his teammate then I would have guaranteed got shot by the other team and I would have had to fought an entire new team with no mats and luckily if I had a shotgun from him so it just wasn't the best idea so I played a little bit slower and it ended up working very well for me so these two teams started fighting which is exactly what wanted to happen so what happened was the teams came for the noms area if that, that's the stores where they came from and there was a team in this building so I know if I back up to the brick building that these two teams would fight because otherwise if there were if this team in the buildings were to rush me then the team at noms would have came from right behind him and shot him at the exact same time or if the team from Noms would have pushed over, the team at the building would have fought him. So there was no possible way that the two teams could both go for me at the same time. But if I would have went for that team in the building when I had a chance to, then I would have guaranteed he got shot directly by the other team and had no mats. It just would not have been a good idea because there was another team that would have been on me. But still, I actually got a lot of mats from that player. I had 300 mats on there. I still had full shield, a big pot, and a slurp. So overall, I'm doing really, really well on HP, which is still nice. I have four kills with 40 people left. And so the other player that I'm about to fight is going to be in front of me. And at this point, since he already knows pretty much where I am, I'm just going to go for high ground because I'm pretty sure there's going to be another team nearby and I need to kill this guy as fast as possible. So I go for that play, hit him for a clean 105 shot. I'm going to tag him one more time for my M16 and I'm going to lag or if I got shoved off by the builds. And it happens from time to time when they place a stairs or something like that, it can shove you right off. And that's exactly what happened. And I'm luckily, I didn't take a 100 fall damage. I feel like I fell a long ways. So I end up taking 90 fall damage. I lucked out to find another med kit. So I'm going to get this med kit off first. And then I'm going to grab my big pot and then go back for a challenge. And I don't think I actually end up killing that player. I think another team did, which I think was the team at Brick. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to get all the guns that I need. See if there's any more loot I need to pick up. Because at this point, I have a little bit of mats. I have like 250. So I have to play off of that. I can't just go all out. Because if I did have a lot of mounts, I probably would have just rushed up to top brick. Or if I had a grapple gun, one of those two, I would have just rushed up there immediately. But here in this fight, I come from the side and I miss every single shot. You know, I have really good aim, I think so. But right there, it was absolutely atrocious. I missed every single shot. And so I'm fighting this player, but I have to keep in mind that there's still going to be another player on top of the build of brick. Because here was this player, but there's also another team on top. So I got the knock right there. And so I was about to finish that guy. He's just dropping down, trying to run away. So as soon as I get the knock on the player, I'm going to notice the other player is going to be on top of Brick. So I'm going to grab his loot, see what I need. And he had a gold heavy shotgun. So I'm going to build up and then I'm going to grab it. And then eventually I'm going to push up there. 
So at this point, I'm trying to read if he's going to come down. Because normally, if there was like a boombox or dynamite, I would just drop the building immediately. Because that's just the easiest way to do it. It takes no skill. Just chuck a, just chuck a few dynamite and drop the entire building. But I'm just sitting down here. I'm going to wait for this guy to make a move. And so I'm, I'm just shooting around. I'm trying to bait him to come down. Because if he comes down, then I can easily take high ground from him and then have a good open shot on him. But at this point, this guy is just camping up there. I mean, he's having a good time. Pencil warrior up there. So, you know, I'm, I'm like, screw it. I, either I challenge this guy or I'm going to sit down here for eternity because he's not going to come down here at all. So I rush up to the top. And at this point, I have high ground. And I saw him go under my builds over here. And so when I go down, I honestly choked again right here. This edit was trash. So I, I see this guy over here trying to mine the wall. I go for an edit play. And I edit the complete wrong way. I really messed up there. But luckily, this guy wasn't too, too much of a sweaty player. He just dropped down to the bottom. And I was able to finish him off with my AR. So at this point, I do have 7 kills with 27 people left. And I'm not going to be able to get the kills on any of these players that are rushing me right now. But you guys are about to see these guys are going to come in a plane. And I'm going to give this guy on the side of the plane the absolute laser. So first of all, I just knocked that guy. All of his shield, I hit him for 33 three times. So I pretty much knocked off his entirety of his shield. And they're just going through buildings. They're panicking, trying to run away. And in the distance, I nail this guy so many times for 20 damage. So first, I knock off all of his shield. and I hit him for 23 four times. This guy was absolutely one shot. And if I would have knocked him, I would use a launch pad or whatever I could could to rush that so i ended up not getting any kills on that team which is kind of unfortunate because it could have been an 18 kill gameplay so here i'm rushing up on two teams that are fighting and when it comes to seeing players in a gunfight typically i like to take out players that either have like a mini gun if they have an rpg explosives any of those type of weapons i try to take out those players first but at the same time you have to be careful because you don't want them to focus on you if they're focused on you with the RPG and you get lit up from the other teams, it's just not going to end well in your favor. So if I see an RPG, the first thing I try to do is try to take out that player first. Because the RPGs and explosives or just anything that can take out a lot of builds really quickly, I want to try to down that player first. Because once I down that player, I know the other player is going to be a lot easier to take out. And as well, I like to take out players with balloons first as well. Just because if they're above you with a balloon, they can just sit above you and just absolutely spray the mess out of you while they're teammates you from the bottom. And if you're getting shot from the top and the bottom at the exact same time, it's just not going to end well at all. You're going to get absolutely destroyed by their scars. And especially if the guy in the balloon has an RPG as well, it's just not going to end well at all. So after some quality bloom in that headshot, I decided to just go over and rush this player. And he's not going to be able to build right next to the house, and which he didn't know that. So as soon as he came out, I hit him in the headshot for a 110 damage shot, finished him off. So here I am with 11 kills and 7 other players left. And I'm going to use the plane. I don't think it had much HP at all. What I was going to do is just go straight up and then use it kind of as a rift. And when I came down, I see two players camping in here. I mean, they were pitching a tent. And when I was rushing around here, I, I understood that I made the guy weak. But at the same time, I had to be careful because when it comes to these type of players who are just camping, I have to be looking out for traps. So if I'm just, if I even, even if I make the guy one shot, I have to be careful about running around builds and stuff because his teammate could be literally anywhere with a shotgun ready to get a headshot. And as well, there could be traps every which way. So when you're rushing against players, even if they're weak and they're in buildings, you have to be careful for traps and just other things like that. So here it comes down to the last two teams. So I end up getting a knock. I go for the thirst immediately, which I'm glad I did because otherwise I probably wouldn't have been able to kill him. Because right now I'm just getting shot up by the quad launcher. And that's just one of the guns in this game that are just really hard to avoid. So I'm going to back up and I'm going to get off my slurp just to get that little bit of HP. Because if I get hit by a quad launcher, that's 80 damage. And eventually I decided to just back up because they were just spamming. And then one of the other players that I was fighting were actually his teammate. So I knocked the guy. His teammate actually ended up killing himself with a quad launcher. And I know I cut it out, but I actually opened up the door. And he was just sitting there with the quad launcher just shooting at me. I mean, point blank. The kid hit himself. And then I said, screw it. You know, I'm just going to run away. There's no point of trying to fight this guy because he's going to suicide me with the RPG. So here we go in another game where Epic always gives the other players on high ground the circle. And here's where my game glitched out. I don't know because I literally, I was fine the entire game and I walked next to that tree that was next to me. And then my game was shaking. Every time I tried to jump, it would barely jump at all. And so here I thought I was dead because honestly, like this glitch is the most annoying thing ever. I could barely build. I could barely jump. And then my aim was going to be everywhere. So at this point, I'm like, screw it. I just got to try to have good positioning, try to do anything I can not to die to these players. And honestly, I lucked out because they weren't the best players. Because honestly, if they were any, if they had, a, if they were really good players, really good builders, I probably for sure would have been dead to them just because my game was just glitching out so bad right here. 
So right here, I'm just sitting on top. My game is still glitching out, and these both players both have sniper rifles. So I need to be careful about peeking, because if I get hit once with the sniper rifle, and I think both of them, or at least one of them had a heavy sniper, so one tap, he could literally hit, my, hit me in my toe and do 150 damage. So I'm just trying to be really, really careful. My game is glitching out. I couldn't really do much. So at this point, I'm just waiting for the circle to see where it goes, and then try to play it off of there. I did get a pretty good circle, so I was just going down to the bottom, because at this point, I'm just trying to rotate to the next zone, and this guy just absolutely full send off the top of the structure, all the way to the bottom. I'm not really sure what the move is right there, and then I see his teammate trying to come over, I just shoot him out, and this guy dies to fall damage as well. So kind of lucked out there, because my game is glitching, I probably would not have been able to do much, but still got the clutch, still had 16 kills in that gameplay, it was a pretty good gameplay. And with that being said, that's wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you guys could, drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn on my notifications so you're notified for every single new video. And alright guys, I will see you next video.